Hi there, this is Abhishek and from this video I will start the series of how you can do the text analytics in R. Text analytics or text mining is one of the branch of data analytics where you specifically look at the textual data, you know the data which is coming in email or on your SMSs or WhatsApp messages, I mean whatever be the messages is and basically then identifying whether the message is a good message or a spam message and this application is really useful so most of you you have been using the email let's say from gmail and uh, it has an algorithm which clearly identifies whether a email is a spam or not so that you are not really viewing these spam messages and it is automatically filtered in the spam folder so with the same idea uh, I am going to show you how you can achieve it within the R and for that I have a file let me show you so this is the SMS spam file where we have the type ham that means good message or a spam that means it's a spam message based on as you can see uh, the message is basically some sort of a promotional message but not a message from your contact or a relevant message for you so with that you have a category uh, type whether a message is a good message ham or spam bad message and what is the text and based on this text we will going to identify or we will going to train our our algorithm to identify any future message as spam or ham so let me go back into the r and show you this thing in action so let's go ahead and import it ham or spam file and it's a csv file and let me get the path of it here you go and i will press ctrl enter let me extend it a little bit so that you can see it much better all right the file is now or the csv is now stored in this object ham or spam let's see the structure of this data set str ham or spam all right uh, here we have the structure which says factor of type with two level which is fine but it is saying factor to the textual data also so that's not right maybe what you can do is uh, first of all you can write string as factors is equals to false over here that's one way of reducing it and the second way is basically converting the type text the text variable into a character so what i can do is ham or spam dollar text is as dot character and then uh, ham or spam dollar text control enter and now if i again see this command now it is a character and it is a factor perfect Let's go ahead and uh, look at this data just from the perspective whether there is any issue with the data or not. So we'll use the command ham or spam control enter and here we have the data. So let me pop it out by clicking over here and uh, what I'm just trying to do is I'm having a cursory look just to see whether there is any missing values or not. Though you have a many ways to look at the missing values and uh, one of the ways is basically is to look at the complete dot cases so if i write complete dot cases and show you it over here so what it basically gives you uh, is it returns a logical vector indicating whether case is complete or not that means a true or false so what you can do is you can write complete dot cases and then say ham or spam control enter and you can see that pretty much everything is true so what you can do is you can probably count it in such a way uh, that it is giving you just one number that uh, whether there is any false or not so for that what you can write is which not 
So this is a sign to basically indicate the opposite of it that provide us the false value and then control enter and then it is coming up with the integer zero that means there is no uh, false or there is no false that means all the uh, values are present in both the columns and there is no null. All right, let's move ahead and uh, see a few things in action. The first thing we may want to do is look at our data by using the table command and say ham or spam dollar type control enter. So there are basically 4812 good messages and there are 747 messages which are bad. So let's try to see it in proportion. So what we can do is prop dot table and within that within table ham or spam dollar type. What it gives us is basically the percentages. So 86.56% messages are good and 13% messages are spam. So we need to basically look at these 13% messages and you know try to predict uh, whether a new message is a ham or a spam. So the next thing we will going to do is uh, basically look at the distribution of data and uh, try to see uh, how the data is looking like and then in subsequent videos we will move ahead and create the algorithm all right so what we want to do is that based on this information we have the type the FASA factor that how many number of messages are spam or ham so we know this information the next thing we may want may want to do it is basically look at the length of e each message and just try to see whether based on the length of the message can we make sure or can we identify it? there is a kind of a pattern which exists in ham or spam. So that is something good from a perspective of exploratory analysis and uh, you are just trying to predict from the visual or trying to get an initial idea from the visual whether there is any, any uh, pattern that is visible. So the next thing is basically get the length of this text. So what we can do is uh, text length and len length and then you can have ham or spam dollar text. But uh, what you can do is you can add it as part of uh, ham or spam. And uh, for that what we can do is we will write ham underscore or underscore spam dollar control enter now if you will see you will have the information length but the problem is that the very the function length is basically giving you the same value so question mark l e n g t h length or l e n g t h oops okay so it's basically get us at the length of the vectors including list and factors so okay so that's what it is giving it is not giving us the length of each individual row but the entire length i think there are five five nine triple five nine entries and that's what we are carrying over here so what we need is basically length so we need to use a different uh, function altogether and let's use the uh, alternative one which we have n care here in this case so what it gives us the number of characters question mark and care it's just that from the length itself it gives an idea uh, for a normal analysis that it will produce you the length or len that we use in excel all right so here we have the and care uh, count the number of characters all right we are good to enter and now let's see this good that's sweet we have the text and we have its relevant length and if we go down yeah perfect cool uh the next thing we may want to do is produce histogram out of it so we will write hist and we will say ham or spam dollar text length control enter and here we have the information about the entire data set but we do not really know over here uh, whether it is a spam message or a ham message because entire information is clubbed into just one single uh, histogram. So what we can do is we can use the advanced visualization of ggplot. So library ggplot 
2 control enter and then what you can do is uh, create a histogram so let's first try to create a histogram so for that the command is ggplot gg plot and then the data which is ham or spam and then the aesthetics within the aesthetics x is basically nothing but text length so text length and then let's first try to get the text length and then build your information step by step and then we will need to create geom score histogram all right let's go ahead and execute it the control enter i just press start control enter and here we have the information about your histogram which is pretty similar to how we saw it in the previous previous histogram which was from the base package now let's go ahead and uh, make it more interactive by using the fill aspect of of your ggplot and we will going to say that we want to differentiate by the uh, type whether it was a ham or a spam control enter and now it is if i zoom it a little bit and show you clearly what it is basically saying this particular this orangish line that it is it is ham or it's a good message and these messages is basically showing some sort of pattern that it's it's a spam message so it's a clear demarcation of uh, uh, how the spam messages lengths are basically and some of the messages are really really big and they are never spam so that gives you basic idea about uh, how this thing is another thing uh, to make it a little bit more interactive you can specify the bin size the number of bins currently it is thick you can make it a little bit thin so, uh, to provide your own bin size and you can go in here bin width is equals to you can specify whatever is the number let's specify six over here and control enter now the bin size is a little bit reduced you can play around with a bin width and really see which one is really making sense for you and then you can get an idea the next thing you may want to do it is uh, you want to clearly or you want to separate these two histograms all together so for that what you can do is you can say face it underscore wrap and then you need to specify by which that's nothing but your type so go ahead and specify the type and press control enter switch that's what we have here we have the spam ham and here we have the spam so whatever is meaningful to you uh, you can really use the power of ggplot and get the information out there uh, which is much more uh, useful based on how you are used to of seeing the information apart from ggplot what you can do is you can use the library which is lattice for similar sort of uh, information and produce the uh, histogram out of it so for that the command is nothing but the histogram you want histogram by text length and type which is a facet uh, just to have these two different you know sections of data and your data is nothing but and more spam control enter so there is a object type not found so that is a small one control enter and here from lattice that's how the information is coming and then you can explore a little bit more about uh, how you can further fine tune this data because i just wanted to give you an idea about the different ways you can use either ggplot or lattice whichever is making sense for you and get the information out for you so that's pretty much all i would show it in this video and in the next video we will build up upon this knowledge and create the next uh, set of events for the text mining so stay tuned for that